Construction 9. Constructing an angle of a given number of degrees with a, a given ray as one of the arms. So we're using a protractor, a straight edge, and a pencil. So I have my given ray, and what I want to do is construct an angle at point A with a, the line drawn at an angle such that that angle is as described. So we're going to do 50 degrees as an angle. So the first thing we need to do is we need to place our protractor correctly. The key point is there's a centre of the protractor, and that needs to go at the point where we want our angle to come out of. Secondly, there's that line along the bottom there, and we need that line to be in line with my given ray. So, it's a case of positioning it. I find the easiest way of doing it is to get it to be parallel, and then move it slowly so that the point is uh, on the centre. Now, the key thing here in terms of measuring our angle is we start from where naught is on the scale. Now, there's naught here on the outside scale, or we have naught here on the inside scale. So what we want to use is the inside scale in this instance because my given ray goes through this naught here. So moving up from naught 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I have my point at 50, so I can now create a mark. Even though this is 130, we're reading off the inside scale. Now I have, I'm able to connect up this line mark with my point A to create a second ray that has now created an angle of 50 degrees. Just to show you another example of using the protractor, this time we've got a different ray, our angle is at the uh, right hand end. So this time we want to position the protractor again with the centre on the point D and the line correctly aligned. But this time we'll see because the ray is going to the left, it is going through this zero value, and so now we're going to use the outside scale. So where I'd want to create an angle of 50 degrees, I'd now be finding using this 50, not this 50 over here, but this 50 here on the outside scale, because I'm starting at naught, where this ray goes through this particular naught. So around to 50%, 50 degrees, place my marker, and then connect up that marker to point D. I now have 50 degrees drawn.